Brian Kynard of Lighthouse Realty is joining us. Uh, there's nothing you and I love talking about more than food. Yeah. And we, we got a couple of interesting uh, uh, restaurant issues to discuss on the island, the uh, issues uh, generally in the positive. Uh, let's talk about the change down in the uh, Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, that's right. Over Bermuda. Man, I haven't heard called that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a <laughs> while, hasn't it? Man, it's taking me back to my 20s. Uh, yeah, over at uh, Jumping Fields yeah. has actually just changed hand. Uh, two brothers uh, who have actually experience in the restaurant casino business uh, have bought it. Uh, they're looking to run it as jumping fills through Labor Day. We are in the height of season, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the end of uh, after Labor Day, they're going to uh, shut down for a little while and do a little bit of rebranding and a little reconcept while keeping and paying homage to the past because there's clearly tons of history sure. in Riley's Plaza as well as jumping fills. So uh, it'll be, when it comes back, maybe a different kind of addition to what goes on in Riley's Plaza, and, and that will be good stuff. Yep, definitely uh, keeping with that late night uh, feel, too. Yeah. So they, uh, they, so they're going to be rocking out and having fun late at night. All right, from late nights to early mornings, uh, one of the uh, more curious and fun uh, restaurant guys on the island is uh, opening up a new place called Bad Biscuit. What's ba a Bad Biscuit? Yeah, Bad Biscuit's over on Dunnigan's Alley by Ruby Lee's here on the South End. Uh, has just opened up, as you said, it's uh, of the proprietor of a low country backyard. Mm -hmm. uh, this one will specialize in biscuits. Uh, as he's been uh, making uh, food for the low country backyard over the years, as he's made a new biscuit that was good, he would say, that's a bad biscuit. <laughs> uh, so I've actually got some family in town this week, so they, they definitely love to eat and shop. So hopefully I can get them over there to eat and check out the jelly bar and some of these new biscuits. Could be some good stuff coming up. Uh, we've also got a run to talk about. That's the last thing I usually think about uh, during summertime is going out and running. Uh, but but one is coming up that uh, that does some good things. That's right. The uh, the turtle trot uh, is taking place weekly over in Palmetto Dunes on Wednesdays. Uh, it supports the uh, Palmetto Dunes POA and the, their charitable foundation. Uh, on uh, high tide weeks, they'll do the uh, 5K course through Palmetto Dunes. And on low tide weeks, you'll actually get out on the beach. Uh, it starts ah. at 8 a.m. Uh, and they do request that you do bike down as parking at the Dunes House can get a little crazy in the summertime. But a beach run uh, for a cause yeah. uh, that uh, gets you up early in the morning is never a bad thing. Go run off some of those biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do that. Uh, where do you find out more information about those runs? Uh, go try sports uh, okay. for the runs and all of the other fun events coming up throughout the year. All right. Thanks so much, Brian. Brian Kynard of Lighthouse Realty.